Coach Blesso. Coach Blesso. The Coach Blesso. <laughs> uh, Narvin Booker, Jr. Center field. <clears throat> Bus driving with like three out, three and a half hours late. <laughs> we supposed to leave at five. There's that SP. It's five thirty-six. I can't run that. The double. Yeah, bus driver was like three and a half hours late. Long bus drive. Everybody was sleeping like the whole two hours. Well, the trip was very interesting. Uh, you know, just started off rough. Bus was late. Whew. Uh, sat down there for about what three hours. Got no. on the road though. Smooth ride. You no know, first stop. That was a good, good eating spot too. Oh yeah. Who we at? Who we at? Uh, Raisin Cane. Well, I was uh, I was kind of all over the place that morning. Had um, actually the night before I should have gotten cars for the for the offense that I didn't get. So I was kind of, in a way, glad that the bus was late so that I could be on time and and go over to the print shop and get those cars. So that was a good deal, even though you know, the bus job. Thought I made it for a second. I had to regroup. Love that. I love the vibe. You know, it had the doors that go wing. <laughs> uh, With Travis Scott, what did you think about meeting him or seeing him right in front of you? About the same height? I don't know. I thought he was taller than what he was. He, he's, he's a stick. This man is here, bro. Travis Scott. Nah, the camera's referring to Can you We saw him in the hallway. He just walked right past us, for real. He, oh. he did a little head nod to some people. Oh. He ain't make eye contact with oh. me. <laughs> yo, Travis, yo! <laughs> like, real, real skinny. That's crazy. But he's a little cool dude, you know? He's didn't have an entourage like I thought he was going to have. Oh, uh, we just, we were prepared mentally. Uh, just overcome some adversity. We, we didn't really know exactly what was going to happen, but we knew if we, we played well and, and got a good start, we would have a chance to win. I felt great that day. I was locked in. I could barely sleep the night before. I think my game. But yeah, I couldn't really hear nothing, see nothing. I was just locked in, for real. My mindset, man, uh, we had you know three good teams that we had to play, and we knew that if we could clean up, you know, our defense, our offense was going to be there. Um, I knew that we was going to get some good pitching. And, you know. Uh, I did did all right. <coughs> uh, played the game the way I wanted to. I loved it. And you've seen that you've been posted by Astros at least, what, two times? Yeah, two times, two times. That I was a good little, good little experience right there. I love it. You know, hopefully I'll be on there one day in a uniform. Yeah, not Atlanta. <laughs> well, I mean, I was, I was kind of so-so about his iffy fall that he had, but you know, I mean, I I knew personally that uh, when the game when it's, when the lights came on, it was time to go. So I knew that he was going to be at his best during game time, and I was you know pleased with the performance that he had that weekend, which I stay on his butt ninety percent of the times anyway. You know, so I was I was pleased with the performance that he had. First pitch, yeah, I knew my command was going to be there. My first batter. Slide was sliding, fastball was, yeah. <laughs> like in the moment, we just trying to win the game. Like ultimately, don't none, nothing else matter. We just we played well, uh, got good pitching. Um, probably threw a little bit more pitches and uh, a little bit amount of innings, but um, a win is a win. You take it. Offensively, we swing in the bass well. Um, <clears throat> just trying to get them to 
Executing in, in key spots, uh, timely hitting, moving runners over, uh, which we we being successful. I think it's only one game we played so far where we just didn't hit. Uh, how do you think the outfielders did in the Houston series? They did well. You know, got a nice surface that you really didn't have to too much do much on. Guys got some good reads on some balls, ran some dip, ran some balls down in the gap. So I was satisfied with what they did that weekend. You know, seeing the ball more down. Work on hitting back back side. Uh, listen to coach a lot more. Uh, defensively, we we make the plays, and some days we don't. Uh, I guess it's just um, where we are right now. Outfield play is, is really good right now. We're trying to clean up some things on the infield, which you know yesterday uh, yesterday we came around. So uh, if we can get that on a day-to-day -day basis. I see it in a positive direction. We only gonna get better. You know. You know, in January we weren't even practicing for real. And so now where we go, yeah, we start. So we definitely turned it upward now. Uh, if we get the, the pitching all the way down, because you know, we ain't gonna we ain't gonna hit every day. That's just part of it. But uh, once we get the pitching and the hitters to meet in the middle, uh, we, we're going to be a tough team to beat. I think a lot of people uh, come here with the mindset thinking we're just going to lay down. and That's just not who we are. I feel like it's a lot of promise in, within the program, which, you know, I'm always up. As far as on this team, I'm always, you know, thinking positive. And I think that we got some guys to be able to, to do some really good things with it, you know, gonna make some things happen right now. We kind of struggling in certain areas as far as the offense. Then I feel like with some reps that, you know, they'll come through and get back to where they need to be. I feel like if, uh, if we can hold in a row with our pitching staff, that it's, it's no limit to where we can be at the end of this uh, spring season. <laughs>